Kate, the Princess of Wales and Prince William were joined by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to thank mourners gathering outside of Windsor Castle to pay their respects to the Queen. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini noted the Waleses and the Sussexes showcased very contrasting styles in terms of their behaviour when out on duty. Ms Tomini told BBC News, It's hard when you're so on show. And also the contrasting styles between the two couples have always been evident. You've got William and Kate businesslike with what they're doing and then very warm with the public. And then you've got Harry and Meghan who are more touchy-feely. Maybe that also reflects their different status now. The Prince and Princess of Wales had grown to be more relaxed with their interactions when conducting official duties in recent years. The pair had initially adopted a very composed attitude, refraining from holding hands or engaging in public displays of affection. Over the years, Kate and William were however seen becoming freer with their gestures, with handholding and supportive touches thrown in every now and then. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had no qualms with showing their love for each other, keeping close to each other and kissing in public. Body language expert Judy James told Female, This is a phenomenal and unexpected scene that displays some natural caution and awkwardness in the body language, although as a statement of intent it seems choreographed as something of a loving tribute to the Queen and in some ways the new King who took what was maybe the first step in speaking of his love for Harry and Meghan in his recent speech. The four line up together to suggest some form of unity and it is William, with his puffed chest and air of confidence, who looks like the leader and instigator. Harry performs some clothing touch anxiety rituals but Meghan seems to be on hand to offer comfort, support, and encouragement. Ms. James noted the Princess of Wales at times appeared to distance herself from the group. She added, Kate looks slightly distanced although she is close to William when the couples split slightly. Ms. James said, When the couple clasp hands it is Harry's fingers wiggling downward while Meghan's are curled around his palm, with her thumb gently stroking his hand. She performs touches on his back and small strokes and other tie signs and there are some moments when she is the one looking across for communication with William and Kate. Thank you.